Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me once again. It's Poet WP. Um, I've been doing a lot of political stuff and a whole lot of transcendental, meditational, spiritual, mystical, oriented poetry. <clears throat> You know, and that's all well and good, but, you know, that's not everybody's bag, you know. Some people, uh, you know, they want to go back to a lot of what the roots of poetry were, which is love. You know, I'm a love cat as well, so, you know, I have my fair share of uh, love poems, poems of romance, and the delightful process of wooing the muse and all that business sure i mean that's an integral facet of any true poet <clears throat> so you know i have my share of poems of that nature and today i thought i'd share one of them with you now these poems you know most of them are about old girlfriends you know so uh you know i don't necessarily uh uh, revisit these as much as I do my other poems or share them as much because you know a lot of them are highly personal and intimate sometimes so you know I'm a little guarded with those sometimes more so and also you know it's kind of sad you know you think back on it they're not around anymore they're old girlfriends so, you know, that's kind of sad. But anyway, I'm going to share one today. <clears throat> this one's called A Moment in Heaven. With floundering lips of a magnanimous reprisal, I live in the wake of my wandering fantasies within the unconditional language of the spirit a mass to refine the tactless symptoms of control. And within, and within a brief connection of a gaze immortal, your spirit flutters as my heart englobes your very presence. As I rest in the grace of such harmonies, Natural succumbing wills that clear all processes of thought with the exchange of an unspoken kiss that recoils amongst the most elusive intentions of dreams. I've always liked this one a lot, personally. This is one that I also would go around New York and read. My open mic poetry reading days. Oops, sorry for the finger. And, uh, so, you know, this is when I was quite, you know, I would stand, I stood behind, you know. I read this at several places back in the day when I would go around New York to the open mic scene in New York City. If you guys, if anybody, if you write poetry, you want to go on an awesome vacation, go visit New York City and look up the poetry scene. You can look it up online, you know, like open mic poetry readings. There used to be a site called Poets with a Z. Poet Z. With a Z. Uh, I don't remember the rest of it, but you just go search. If you're into poetry, you write poetry, you want to like step into the big waters with the big fish, go to some open mic poetry readings. In New York City when you go visit there they have like three or four of them a week usually you just have to look them up online anyway that's what I used to do every time I go visit I'd go you know at night mainly go to open mic readings meet people talk to people it was great share my poetry and I was usually received very well too it was cool but um anyway Reminiscing, going down memory lane, because this is the one, one of the ones I used to read a lot around New York. Okay, thank you for um, tuning in, and uh, you know, I'll share some more romance poetry, romantic poetry. 
Uh, and uh, I'll see you next time. Like, share, and subscribe if you're show if you are so inclined. Uh, it is greatly appreciated. This channel is still very small, and I'm a minimalist, as you can see. I kind of pride myself in that respect. It's it's the uh, message that's important, not the. But you know, I might channel grows. I'm, I might um, take on you know, like buy a real camera. <laughs> Okay, thanks for sitting, for tuning in. I hope you like my poem.